Hey guys, good to have you all back and welcome to the last mask make of March. Now, what do I have on my desk? These are layered faux ticket strips. Love them. You might recognize them because I did a video, um, I think last year. Yeah, probably last year. And uh, all you guys loved it. Now, I asked you earlier this week, what project do you think I'm making? And I was thinking labels because that's what I'm sort of known for. And a lot of you guys said, yeah, the tickets, the faux tickets. And that gave me an idea. I'm going to make faux tickets. So I'm going to make, well, sort of these. Now, I think I've made three or four videos over the past two years making these sort of faux tickets. Uh, in, different, in different styles, different ways. So I'm going to combine them. I'm going to combine them and we're going to make faux tickets ticket strips for the supplies i'm gonna show you a lot of supplies guys but i have also lots of alternatives i'm starting with paper you're gonna need a base that is a little bit heavier than normal paper like cardstock or scrapbook paper now um in previous videos i've used some with scrapbook paper i use some with cardstock use whatever you have as long as it is a little bit heavier now this is actually cardstock that i've had in my stash for a while i don't even know where i got it a sort of a glitter in it and I, I tested it out this is actually something you can distress you know with your emery board or your um, distress tool your sanding disc so I'm using this but by all means you can also use a normal cardstock you can use colorful cardstock uh, you can use scrapbook paper whatever as long as it's a little bit sort of sturdier yes just like with the labels a little bit sturdier paper. Now, I am going to layer it. But sometimes I'm going to layer it with uh, book pages. Or with images. Or with stamping. So for paper, you're going to need cardstock and normal paper. Digitals, book pages, or what have you. Okay, guys, for the tools. Well, uh, the usual suspects. Uh, glue. Glue of your choice. You could use a ruler and a knife. Scissors. Paper trimmer. For cutting yeah and then i am going to use um this small little tool it's a single hole perforator if you don't have this you might have uh i'll probably I'll, i think i'll probably even use this one your crocodile something that makes a hole if you don't have this or this you'll probably have this in your office somewhere take off the lid yes see something that makes a hole yeah um because we want to make these here. And did I do it on the top? No, there. Um, but I also want to make sort of a perforated line. Now, there are a couple of tools that you can use. I'm going to take out the most sort of expensive one. Uh, it's not really expensive, but this is a tool designed for it. It is from uh, Mr. Tim Old Sonic Studios. It um, has sort of a tracing wheel in it, see? That makes slots in paper so that you can rip them. So if you have this, you can use this. Maybe you have a real tracing wheel, like a vintage one. Isn't that cute? Yes, for sewing patterns. I don't do sewing loves, but um, you guys told me this is called a tracing wheel. You can also use a, a pokey tool or a big needle. Yes, if you don't have any of these, you could also mimic the dotted line. Yes, the line here in the center, see, dotted line, because tickets have those you know um you can make uh, just a small make small dots with a fine liner yeah so that's what you're going to use need for uh this and this yeah because i am using this cardstock it's an experiment guys i have no clue if this will work i think it will i'm going to use my uh, sanding disc or my emery board that is just because i'm using this if you're using normal cardstock, no need for distressing. But you could ink it. You could ink it. Yeah. Um, I have a scoreboard. I have a scoreboard because we need to divide these into sections. It would be lovely if the, the sections were all the same size. If not, guys, that's quite all right as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of measurements. I'm going to give you measurements in case you're using scrapbook paper. 
and this is i believe this is um a4 it looks a little bit different than a4 um but i'm just going to explain how you divide your piece of paper it is going to be very simple for this i'm using a scoreboard and to score some lines of course if you don't have this just use your ruler and knife for measuring and um and fold it and fold it yeah for stamping um, because I'm using rather dark paper, I'm not taking out my um, fallen leaves, but uh, black first fine clear. And I have some of my favorite stamps here. Now, it would be cheating if I was just to use this one that's called Ticket Booth. Let me, I am, I have my scoreboard in one hand. Let's use two hands. Yes, you have two. This would be cheating. Yeah, just stamp on it and, you know, you're done. But I really like to use some small parts of it for uh, some stamping. Uh, I've taken out Centric. Of course you did. And um, Field Notes and Correspondence. Basically, if you have these three, you have everything that you need, in my opinion. Uh, but guys, go through your stamps. You know by now, you don't need to use the whole stamp. If you have some stamps that have some numbers on them, but also another image, you know, just use part of it. Just use part of it. And I might use this. This is from Heidi Swap. Still don't know where to get it. I am really, really sorry. And it has some sort of grit and lines on here. So I might use this one. Anything else? Oh yeah, bits and bobs. For sure. I don't think I'm using hardware, but you never know. You never know. I've used lots of um, hole reinforcers on here as uh, an embellishment. Poster stamps, other labels. What have you? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Also, I'm going to make sort of a small uh, collage masterboard. Very tiny one. For this, I need a surface. This could be any paper that you have. Like a book page or a magazine page. Or don't use the heavy stuff. Just something thin. But I, d I don't even know what I'm going to use. Let's find out. Okay, guys, get your papers. Yes, if you have a paper trimmer. A paper trimmer. Um, and let's make some of the strips. We're going to uh, cut the first base, the base layer, first. We're making strips. Now, for the measurements, guys, use your own measurements. I'm just going to give you mine. These were made from 12 by 12 um, paper pads. So this is 12. I've made them one and a half inches wide. This is sort of the size that I like to use. Uh, same for labels, one and a half inches wide. So I'm going to take off a strip of one and a half inch. Now, either it's going to be an A4 sheet or letter size. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't know the exact measurements for letter size. I am sorry, it's a little bit smaller, I believe. Or, or if you're going to distress, take out a, a Tim Holtz uh, distress uh, cardstock, yeah? Just first you need to make strippies of a one and a half inch. Now I am going to make uh, four. I'm hoping. Oh my gosh. God, love. Just line it up. I'm using this tool again. Because I have it and I need to use it. You need to use it. Is that straight? Yes. So I'm going to make strippies. Now this is actually, a, this is A4 size. I measured it. A4 is 11 and 7 eighths or something like it. So it isn't 12. But it's close to 12. By, I believe, 8, um, 8 and uh, whatever. But that's, that's quite all right. You don't need the width of it. So I've chosen some lovely colors. <laughs> I never use purple and I actually love purple. I have a friend that really loves purple. Yes, why do I love purple? Well, enormous Prince fan, and you know, then you just love purple. You just do, you have to, <laughs> you just have to. Okay, so I have strippies. Just make strips. Take out your scraps, lovies, and see what you have. Now, this is very, it's way thinner than um, scrapbook paper, uh, but that's quite right. It is heavier than um, normal copy paper. Yes? So, cut your strips, take out your scoreboard.
I've taken out my scoreboard. I'm actually not even going to use it, but I'm going to show you why I've taken out my scoreboard. I've made these from scrapbook paper. Now, scrapbook paper is sort of difficult to fold, but this was a perfect size because it is 12. Yes, just in case you're using scrapbook paper. Um, and that is very easy to divide in four pieces, like three, 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 three. Yes. So if you're using scrapbook paper, divide it. If you're using the Tim Holtz um, cardstock, the craft cardstock, yes, that's nine. So you're basically going to have three tickets on, on there. Perfect, guys. It doesn't need to be four. So then you just score at three and six. Yeah. Now, this, this is an off size because, you know, we're Dutch. So we're off. It is, a, 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 in fact... Um, 11 and 7 eighths so i could score and have the last one a little bit shorter or make all the individual pieces seven eight of an inch shorter and then you are left with a little bit but i was thinking this paper is actually thin enough for me to do this <laughs> i'm just gonna fold it in i'm gonna fold it in yeah like so and then i'm gonna fold this towards the middle there you go and this towards the middle and this is if you have a uh, thinner paper if you use thinner paper because guess what yes well you know tada and they're all the same hopefully they're all the same they don't need to be the exact same uh lovely so that's what i'm gonna do so score yeah or or fold so have them at least um about three inches Yes, you can make them two and a half inches as well. I wouldn't go two. If you are going to do two, the, the length, then make them one inch wide and not one and a half inch wide. Because the, the proportions will be better if you do it like so. Okay, it's going to fold all of them. I folded all of them sort of zigzag. So you have an M or a W. So zig zigzag them. Yeah, um, I do love the colors. I do love the colors. What am I going to do first? Let's do the perforated line first. Now, I'm using a tracing wheel. For this, I will need a uh, ruler because I, I cannot do something in a straight line. Nothing. So, I'm just going to line my ruler up against the fold. Yes, take out if you have a tracing wheel, guys. If you don't have a tracing wheel, take out something softer. Yes, like a foam. And a pokey tool or something that punches holes. And then make a small line evenly spaced. This will take a while. Uh, and if you don't have this, take out your fine liner. And because they don't need to have perforated line, just mimic it. Just make some sort of dotted lines. Uh, last time I used the perforated and I really liked it. So that's what I'm going to use this time as well. Don't do it back and forth because sometimes... They don't land in the exact same spot. See, I went crooked again. I'm not even... I cannot even make a straight line with a ruler. <laughs> Let alone without... Yes, there we go. I'm going to go off again. I don't know what it is, guys. Don't. I do not know. Well, that's the only one that was straight. Let me show you. I'm hoping you can, can see. See, it has sort of a perforated line. It is just decoration. But... It does work. You could rip it now. You could rip it now. Especially if you do it uh, with this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all the... I'm going to do one more. With feeling. Uh, perforate lines. You can see it better on this color. Yeah? Okay. When you're done with all the perforated lines. We're going to make sort of the ticket shape. Yeah? Here and here. You can also put a small one in the middle. Do I have some tickets at hand that maybe have this? This is my box of vintage tickets. Yes, it's gorgeous. I know. Glorious. Um, yes, because I have some... Some tickets are even straight with perforated line. Some have the holes sort of in the middle. And then there are the ones that have the holes on the side that I actually don't... <laughs> oh, yeah. He, these, these ones. But I only have a single one. No, you don't love you have a gazillion of these see they have the the perforated line and then these so i'm going to make i'm going to do a combination of both which means first i'm going to do the 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 corners i'm taking out my crop or dowel 
my crop model has a large setting and a small setting i'm going to use the large setting for the sides and the small setting probably in the middle if i'm going to do it i'm going to start here perforated line line it up halfway so don't put a whole circle halfway uh, the circle sort of halfway like this that's a little bit too far much better halfway this was so off the perforated line was so off <laughs> on both sides of course and also do the do the ends the corners there we go and last one now the corners i'm going to do sort of a quarter yes because um actually this should be the dotted line and there should be another piece yeah <laughs> If you know what I mean. It's an endless strip. See, I'm just taking out of sort of a corner. Snip a corner. Now you can do this with your crop model. You can do this with um, any other tool that makes small holes. Come out, love. Yes, I need to see what I'm doing. There you go. If you do want to make the, the holes in the middle, like I am doing, not necessary at all. Um, they need to be the, all the same distance. I want them in the middle. Now, this is one and a half inches. I have a cropper dial, which is fantastic. So I can actually put uh, this at one and a half, uh, at three quarter inch. Three quarter inch. This is half an inch. So I need to put it at three quarter inch. Easier said than done. There you go. That is here. It's a setting. See now, oh, that's a, oh, that's the big one. <laughs> I need the small one. I'm sorry, I wanted to do the smaller one. But by all means, guys, here's what you do: you take, you measure the half here, half here. Take your ruler, draw a, a line with a pencil on the back side. If there's a back and a front on this, on the back side, and then you automatically have the the middle. Is this the middle? Well, it says it would be the middle. Does it look like the middle? It does. So I'm just going to put holes in the middle. Also, at the ends, love. And again, just have a... Is that going to work? Yes. Half circle. See? Ticket shape. Okay. Repeat. Repeat. They're all finished. Now I'm going to do an, an extra step, step that you're probably not going to do. Unless you're using this sort of paper that you can send or the Tim Holtz craft cardstock. Use it. Try it on a piece of paper that you have, lovies. If you have a little bit of heavier cardstock, try if you can send it. Now, a total experiment because I honestly don't know. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it on the blue one because the blue one's already a little bit wonky here and there. Um, just want to sort of, yes, yeah, see, it works on this one. See that? Oh, love it. So I'm just going to sand some of the, the edges. Very careful with the middle uh, part, love it, because that's sort of fragile. So this works if you have um, the Tim Holtz craft stock or what's it called? Oh, love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that is really cool i need to remember i think i got it at uh, action loves like a big pack of um sort of all different types of paper sometimes they have this if you're a dutchie i think it's also available in uh in other countries in europe so be on the lookout for it oh don't bend it love I think it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, needs needs more here. So I'll probably um, stamp on this one. Mm, and maybe the color is a little bit too dark. But I really wanted to distress all the edges. See? Now, if you're not distressing edges, I can imagine... Does this work as well? Mm, it, it does. Um, but if you're using scrapbook paper... 
then just use ink. Let's do some inking on this one. Something in a brownish color. Let's do walnut stain. Why not walnut stain? There we go. See, just all around the edges. Especially if you're using paper that you cannot distress. Apparently this paper works fantastic for distressing. I'm so happy. Yes, also tried it um, last month with a file folder. Also worked. So if you have some scraps left of the file folder, that'll work. Also on the perforated line, see? Distressing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some grunching and distressing. Distress them, ink them. I, oh my gosh, I need to find this paper again. But by all means, guys, I know there are a lot of newbies out there that don't have a lot of supplies. But there are also people like me who have way too much, way too much. Go through your stash, lovies. Find some of these papers that you have lying about. You have no clue what to do this. Just take out your emery board, like your nail file, and, and start sanding and see what comes up. Because this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do four different techniques of sort of decorating. Yes. On this one, I'm going to do stamping. Merely the stamping. Yes. On this one, I'm going to do collaging. Collaging. And on the, these, I'm going to cover with collage strip and just with paper. Yeah, I'm going to start with this one because this... Um, is well the stamping is going to be a lot of work as well now you've seen me make a master board this week right if not guys i have a playlist link below with all the mass makes of march on them i've taken out the exact same strip of paper just just copy paper and i just need actually a strip of one and a half inch say one and a half inch we're gonna make it smaller i'm taking out hopefully i have some um some book pages now I'm going to make a small neutral collage with some book pages. This I'm going to use as a whole. Am I? Yes. And, and this I'm going to use for um, the book pages. Some different ones. Neutral, I'm going to do them all neutral. I'm just going to take off some strippies. Oops. And, um, and, and just glue some stuff on. Like a two or three inch uh, strippy lovies. So yes, glue stick. Here we go. Small collage with all sorts. Book pages. Now, don't do this on scrapbook paper. It will be way too heavy. We need something very light, loves. Something very light. I actually need to take out my scraps because I'm using like big book pages that are sort of intact still. They are lovely though. They are, yes. With something interesting in the background, for sure. Yeah. What else do I have? Oh, numbers. Always nice to have some numbers. Take out some of the blank space. And try to find some interesting pieces, yes? With some numbers on on them or could be a like uh, an image. No worries. I have some of this paper. That is actually really cool. I don't know what language it is. I don't know what it says, but I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So for because I'm just gonna do one strip for this, I'm just gonna make one strippy of uh, collaged paper. Do we want to repeat something? Sure. There we go. So how many of you have made a master board and have had not made it before? And did you enjoy it? Are you gonna, I'm just going to do the same. Just going to do the same. 
scrappies, 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 scrappies. And then one more of this. Okay, now I need to let it dry. What are we going to do? We're going to cut a strip that is smaller than this. So this was one and a half inch and I'm going to make it a, a quarter of an inch smaller. So this needs to be a strip of one and a quarter inch. So I'm going to let it dry and then first I'm going to cut this at one and a quarter. So I have my strippy. I think it's dry enough. I cut it. I cut one side, uh, side shape, and then the other side. So it's one and a quarter inch wide. It is too long. Now, if you are working with a uh, scrapbook paper, yes, then you know exactly what size you want, because these are three inches, and you need the middle piece sort of to be a quarter of an inch smaller, so you need to cut them at two and three quarters of an inch. Now, I just folded this, and it is not, uh, it is the tiniest bit smaller than three inches. So I'm going to, I sort of eyeball it. So not two and three quarters, but a little bit uh, less, a little bit less, the tiniest bit. The size is just off. Let's, let's just check it. Will this work? It, I'm going to make them even, even smaller. So this is three, two and three quarters. Na, na, na. Times, but just sort of eyeball it, guys. So make small strippies that will fit on here. And they don't need to be exact. I actually need to fold them over because then the cutting will work better. This one, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. I need four that are about the same size. And last one. Did it work? No, ripped it. That's quite all right. See, it wasn't dry enough. Uh, because probably going to put something over it. So I have s'more. Four, s'more. I have four <laughs> small collage uh, pieces. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to keep them as is for now. Now what I'm going to do is make four, I'm going to put them on these, right? Four sort of images, cut images to size. Now we already know this needs to be one and a quarter by smaller. <laughs> I don't really know, guys. So I'm just going to eyeball this. If I'm going to do one and a quarter, will I cut through something? Yeah. So I'm going to take off the, take any image that you want, loves. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to take off a strippy here and then uh, one and a quarter inch. It is fantastic if you have sort of those images that are smaller, you don't know what to do with. So um, how tall do we want them? Well, we wanted them uh, between this and this. And actually perfect size for this. Let's see? Oh, they're going to be so cute. Yeah, hopefully this works out as well. Two, two and three quarters, a little bit less. It's going to be over here. Yes. And then with the last, I think I want to do something with a little bit more color. Here's one. Let's make this one and uh, a quarter inch. Before we do anything else. Really want some colorful images on here. So this has a little bit of color. I think I'm going to take off the, the top part. Yep. About here. Oh, perfect. S Sally is sage. Um, celery. Mario Lime, what's Mario Lime? Uh, something. Aniseed or peppermints. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another one. So you catch my drift, right? Okay. Uh, oh, let's do this one. I love this color. Eucalyptus, really? Is that yellow? Why, if you say so. If you say so. Okay, I have four. 
cute. And I have four of these. Okay, next step. Let me show you. As you can tell by this one. Now this is sort of the exact same idea. This is with the collage strip. And I, I made the corners the same shape as the ticket. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I could take out my carpet. I'm going to do it with this. This is thin paper. I think I'm going to snip through all four of them. Yeah. Line them up. Guys, line them up. Take your perforator tool. And then snip off a corner thingy now i did not make these all the same size i'm gonna do it like so <laughs> be sure that they're lined up just take off a quarter like a corner yeah paper flying everywhere now there you go now they will fit on i'm gonna do it on the purple see nicely um doing the same with this now this is layered 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 so i'm just gonna do two at a time And there, these are more like the same size. So I'm snipping all the corners, and uh, yeah, I will. I will ink them. Yes, I will. I was thinking, are you gonna ink that one with the? Yes, gonna ink that one as well. This one is a little bit longer. That's quite alright. Is it stuck? Don't be stuck. I have the idea that this one is taller. Well, it's actually a lot taller. Why? Why is this? Well, I don't know. But that's that's why they invented scissors. There you go. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink all around them. Yeah. And uh, before, I'm going to glue them on. I might do a little bit of stamping on the edges. Now, I did not do this uh, for this project, but I did do it for one of my previous faux ticket videos. And it's going to be lovely. Let me show you. They're inked. Before I glue them on, I want to do a little bit of stamping on some of the edges of the tickets. Just as a sort of a background. Um, you can do any stamp that you want, lovelies. I'm going to take out this, which is eccentric. And I'm just going to do, uh, this says identification uh, card stop, which is fantastic because that's actually what it is. Sort of. Something small. Please stay on. Yes, I was doing black, right? Where's your ink? Oh, here. Just on an edge. There. I am going to do them all the same. But I'm going to alternate the places where I'm going to stamp stamp it. And this is actually a little bit too far off the, uh, off the edge. Just as close to the edge as possible, loves. Because otherwise, see if you're going to put this on. It's going to be covered for a bit. But not here. This will work. It's just interesting. I'm also going to do something uh, there. Are you? Yes. Small little number thingy. Some numbers. Because that's what I like. I'm going to do more stamping. I'm going to basically almost put it on uh, the perforated line. Because why not? I will do the bottom part here and then the top part here as well. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to do on the other side. This is before I put something on. Oh yes, this is an interesting one with all the numbers. Yeah, I think so. Yep. These might be a little bit too bold. So, um, I'm going to use another one as well. What do we have? Workroom. This is... Oh, transportation company. Smaller one. 
and there and there not a number in between num, num, num. I think I want number something but then without original so hopefully that works does a little bit of the original oh, I'm gonna put original here on the top why not yes and then this on the bottom just for some interest in the background yeah you could also do some splatter stamping if you want to but I think this looks amazing. I'm very happy I've chosen the, the black ink for this. I think the fallen leaves would sort of fade in the background. Yeah? Okay, let me clean this up. And then we're going to glue these on. Now, it's just like making the labels. You just glue them on. Yes. Uh, yeah, we were using purple. Yeah, purple for the sort of images. Again, you can just use... Um, Trying to figure out what I want to put where. This, this, this. Okay, well, something like it. <laughs> this was the one. What's all with all the black? I have black streaks now on them. Did I put it in something? Well, it is distressed because there's black ink on them. Smudged. Smudged. Yeah. Apparently I had some black ink somewhere. Now it's smudged. But that's okay because it's grungy. Let's just call it grungy and not smudged. And there we go. I did try to wash my hands. But you know. I really like them. And you could do some more decorating. I will do some more decorating. This is just putting them on. There you go. Now if they are really smudged. I'm probably going to smudge them up a little <laughs> a bit more maybe with my splatter stamp or something like it there you go cool already lovely now these of course need way more decorating um but that's what i like to do so why not why not and there you go could be upside down because it's upside down and on its side it's just a background uh, loves could be upside down she said while she was flipping it over <laughs> because i actually don't want stuff upside down yeah i want to sleep at night uh well it's on its side it's on its side that's quite all right there we go and the last one also lovely now because there's a blue back background i'll probably do something with blue there we go completely different this needs a little bit of decorating this needs way more decorating now i have two left um one of them i'm going to stamp on not do any other decorating other than stamping i'm going to do that one first and then this needs decorating no background no stamping Okay, let's do some stamping. Let's start with the one that I want to stamp on. Um, this one, the green one. Um, I've taken out this Heidi Swap stamp set. It has some sort of grids on there or whatever you... Sorry guys, I do not have any links or cannot tell you where to buy it. I think this came from a subscription box of Heidi Swap. Didn't buy it. I got it in Happy Mail from the fantastic Tony. Crafts by Tony. Go watch her channel. Because she's doing amazing stuff um, at the moment. Crafts by Tony. Yeah. She's just awesome. Um, I'm going to put some grids on here and there. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be like this. But I but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to do with this. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do with these is use the same stamps. But... Um, have them on different places. Does that make any sense? See, I'm using the same stamp, but I'm just gonna put it like so. Okay. 
because that is also awesome. Um, and then do this here. Yeah, and then <laughs> I'm making my own grids. My steel frame. Um, num, num. Are we lining it up? No, we're doing this. See, oh, that's just cool. Oh, never did this with these stamps. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah, I like it. Now I want to do something here as well. Lining these up, can we? Probably not, but I'm going to have a little bit of space in between. Yeah. Oh, that's just fantastic. Yeah. So I uh, just use this. Now, um, you can do this uh, with a ruler and a fine liner. I just think it's awesome. Yeah. Whole new, see, whole new use for um, stamps. Okay, now they have their, their small sort of compartments on here. See, already. Um, so I need to fit it in. I'm just going to show you these guys. These are This is Ticket Booth from uh, Mr. Tim Holtz. As you can tell, uh, some of the stamps are sort of straight up and or on its side. See? So it doesn't really matter if the numbers are just all in one direction. You can do whatever. You can do whatever. Let's see. I'm going to take I'm going to take out some numbered ones and then see where they will fit. See? This will fit here. Again, I think I'm going to repeat. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to wet it. Yes, there we go. So, I'm going to do one here. Another one here. Do we have any space? Oh, we have some lovely space here. There. And there. Yes, can we put something in the small uh, compartments? I think so. Yes. Doesn't have anything to do with tickets, but I just want some small. But it's pretty cool. This goes here. And here. One on the top. Um, let's have it like so. In the middle, new on the bottom one. Oh, yes. Another small one. Now, I have this. This is not a small one, but I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to put it on anyway. This goes here. Do we have room here? Sure. We're going to put this here. Um, there. And here. Yes. I have something that says claim check. Yeah, claim check. Also a small one that will fit here, 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 and there. Yep, um, reserved. These are awesome. One more. I'm going to find one more. Small sort of word. Corresponding order. Let's see if correspondence has anything. Oh, number. Something. Number. 1411 I think they're done and I think they're awesome looks like real tickets right well, sort of but I just like them I really like them um 
One more thing. Yes, I'm going to do some splat stamping. In the black? What? Yeah, in the black. Just in the black. See, here and there. Just on the sort of blank spots. Now we're done. Oh, this one is so cool. Okay, for the last one. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out mini Tim Holtz paper dolls. It's going to be fun. I have the Tim Holtz mini paper dolls. Now, I've already picked some out because that'll take me for about an hour. So I have the girls in white dresses. Probably with some blue satin sashes. Yes, the girls in white dresses. So I want some sort of, you know, uniformity <laughs> on here. So all these girls, um, I want to add a poster stamp. Uh, these are all the same. So I'm doing all the same. Let's do blue because of the blue satin sashes. Um, I'm just going to do... I'm going to start here at the bottom. Let's start at the bottom. I'll sort of frame her head here. I don't want to do them in all the same place, of course. And this one I want to do on its side. There. And to this side. And then here. So all different spots. I have a piece of a scrap paper with some um, foreign writing on it. And I think I just want some a small pieces of it somewhere. Just for some interest. Small piece here, small piece here. Yes, I have another small piece. Oh yes, take out some tweezers, love. I'm gonna take out some tweezers. I'm gonna put this here and I have another piece. Let's just do this. Here, there and there. See, already have a couple of elements. Now I also have my um, Tim Holtz ephemera snippets. This is my favorite one, guys. <clears throat> if you're going to buy um, a Tim Holtz ephemera pack, curator. Yes, these are the tiny small ones and I absolutely love them. And I use these the most. If I use them, I use these the most. I'm going to have one over here, an oval one. One. Small ones, please. Yes. Smaller one. This looks smaller. But I don't want to add more color. <coughs> Picky? No. <laughs> No, I'm not picky. Why? Why you say that? This is absolutely too bold. So I'm going to need this. Yeah? Okay. But I also want to do some stamping in the background. But what? I could do this, it says collect, and then sort of on its side. And then here and here. And here. I'm just going to use this. This one that says collect. Okay, carefully remove all the ladies and their sort of friends. There you go. Am I still in frame? Long strip. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Let's do some stamping. 
too small. Now, uh, because this is a lighter color, I, I am stamping with um, fallen leaves. Because I just like that color way better than black. Stamp something here. I'm just going to sort of, you know, alternate, switch it up. There. And there. I am not done. No. Big number. I don't know if you're going to see this, but just in case. What else? I'm just going to fill it up. Most of this will be covered up. Stars. Where are my lovely little stars? Um, they are on a different uh, stamp set, lovey. That are already. Put away. There we go. Filed. 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 Yeah? Yes. So, more stamping. I know. Could be done. But I'm going to... You know, make small little collages with these ladies. So let's make these small little collages, yes. Uh, we know we want her here and then the post stamp behind her. I'm going to put this here. I've taken out tweezers, guys, because I have no nails. Well, they're getting better. Thanks for asking, loves. Yes, you ask about this all the time. They are getting better. I think I have like 15% to go. <laughs> In case you don't know, a nail. This is probably upside down. I don't know, guys. A nail stylist uh, completely ruined my nails out of spite because I told her I don't think I want to do the nails anymore because they don't work for me. Yeah. And there we go. Should have used glue stick for this because now I cannot move it up anymore. But it is what it is. I really want something behind her head. So probably do this. Sure. Why not? Nobody says you cannot put this there. Oops. She will stick out for the tiniest bit. Yes. <clears throat> Next lady. This is going to go there. This was going to go here. And then this behind her head. Sure. Sure. I'm not going to glue her head down just yet. Well, not at all, <clears throat> because I want to position this sort of there. Yep. Next lady. Next up. The 
this one goes here. The lady goes there. This one goes here. I'm not putting any glue here because I want to stick something underneath. <laughs> yes. See, I want to put this sort of over there. You, you took out your tweezers, love. I know. Yes. Do you want a drop of glue behind your head, love? There you go. There you go. And the last one. This goes there. Yes. Already decided this goes behind her head. There. Yes. And I think also this one. There we go, lovies. Yes. The girls in white dresses. It's just cool. Now I have these two strips. This one could be done. And you could just put this away, you know, as a mass make. Take it out and de decorate it as you please. Uh, but I'm going to decorate them, you know, straight away. I'm going to zoom you in a tiniest bit. There we go. Is that a little bit more? Sure. Let's do this then. Uh, <clears throat> this just needs a label. I'm going to do a colorful one. So I've taken out my label stickers from um, the lovely Sandra at Old Made Awesome on Instagram. She contacted me this morning um, because I've used these the other day. And then lots of you guys went on her Instagram and actually um, bought some of it. So she was very grateful. So thank you for supporting Sandra. They're, they're very, very cheap, guys, and she ships everywhere. I just want to add, see, like, one of them. She prints them on sticker sheets, so you do have to cut them out. So I'm just going to do a couple of them. And it, well, you could do some, some splatter stamping, but I don't think it needs anything else. This would be lovely for um, a botanical journal or if you're going to do something with herbs, because herbs, aromatic herbs even, it says on the... And for those of you wondering, this came from an encyclopedia, guys. You don't need the expensive books. If you are uh, in a thrift shop and you find an encyclopedia cheap, well, in the Netherlands, they practically give them away um not well you could do a very old one uh but one from the 80s yes they have these sometimes these lovely colorful uh images in them that i use all the time something green we have a green just lying about oh want to do red there yeah, no i want to do something purplish there green a big green one yes i already did some fussy cutting There you go. Where's my pin? It's in front of your nose. I'm gonna do this a little bit over it because why not? <coughs> I don't have this color, do I? Well, I'm gonna use this color. Oh, look at the lovely purple and the yellow. Sometimes I ask her, can you make them in this color or this color for me? And she does. <laughs> She's so sweet. I'm going to do this color. Yeah.
There you go. But what you can also do is buy sticker sheets, just the large ones, and put it in your printer and print out um, some of Michelle's labels, two two page or four two page, and uh, start cutting. And then they have lovely sticker labels. They don't need to be stickers, guys. Honestly, um, I think it's nice that they're stickers. But I sometimes have so, sometimes I have some problem with stickers. And where are you gonna put it? Over the smudge? Over the name? No, I'm not gonna put it over the name. I'm gonna put it there. Okay. See? Just one small little label. And done. So last one. Mushrooms. I'm thinking mushrooms. Last one with the mushrooms. I have some uh, mushroom washies uh, left. Well, washi stickers. And I think uh, it's going to be nice. I think it's going to be nice. Just, you know, something like this. And then, then a small label. But let's first just put on the mushrooms. You could also do fuzzy cuts, loves. Yeah, there we go. Or robins. And what else do we have? Yeah. I think with mushrooms and butterflies you cannot go wrong. There we go. Let's do this one. Yes, big one. Big mushrooms. Or toadstools. Why did you put it on crooked? Because I just want to. <clears throat> and then the last one. quite all right there we go yes now we need small little label you don't need small little label but i'm gonna do small little label uh let's see let's take out my big box with michelle's labels something small ish Oh, that's blue. Really? Is that blue? We have not noticed. Um, this was not a Michelle one, was it? No, it probably was. See, small one here. Sometimes I get asked about this box. Where did you buy it? I didn't buy it, guys. I made it. There's a video on it. Ooh, it says 50. That's too big. Need smaller ones. Even smaller, even smaller. Like this one, this one, this one. Need two more. Falling leaves. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of my. Oh, this is a small one. Yes, and 15. It's too bright. Am I still in frame? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just you know, rummaging through my... That's the same one, but even smaller. Now, Michelle is really smart. Her digital she makes in three sizes. Just pick out one. Yeah, there you go. Like big, medium, small. Yeah, so you don't have to, you know, uh, print them to two page. Especially if you don't know how, how that works. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you. Uh, because every sort of computer works differently. I need to cut this off. Also, I'm not a computer whiz. My husband is. Yes. Well, it's his job. So, I'm going to put this on the top. He should. He should know it. Yeah. It's 
cents and this one there see fantastic there we go all done very simple guys i think that's it i'm gonna clean up my desk take all the strippies out and then let's have a look at the end result I've only managed to make four. That's because I also decorated all of them, guys. But if you're going to do a mass make, just make the strippies in advance. Do all the sort of, you know, circle-y things and uh, the cutting. Um, and stamp on it. A background stamp. Because you could be done. Or you're going to put something over it. So, let me show you the lovely end result. I just really like them. So what do you use them for? Well, I just enjoy making them. Let's be honest because I hoard them. I have all of them. Uh, but you can make this into belly bands, side tucks. Just rip them up and um, um, just use it as a ticket in another collage. The lovely ladies. Yes. And this is the one that is already, well, it's ready. It's stamped. I think I love this one the best. <laughs> It's just so cool. It's just so cool. <clears throat> yes, and decorate it in the style of the journal that you're working with. Or make some and send them out as a gift in Happy Mail. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Go try it out. Try it out. I've shown you um, lots of alternatives for tools and papers that you can use. So be creative. So that is it for Mass Make March. I know a lot of you guys are really sad, especially the newbies out there. But don't worry, lovies. No, next month I'm going to have uh, some easy beginner tutorials and some um, small projects that you can make a lot of. I'm just not going to call it uh, Mass Make March. No, because it's April. Okay, it is Easter weekend, lovies, which means in the Netherlands we celebrate two days of Easter. I know, it's weird. Uh, Easter Monday, uh, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. We also celebrate two days of Pentecost, two days of Christmas. I don't know what it is. We're just weird. Which means I will be celebrating taking time off with uh, the family. However, I will have a video up this Monday. I'm going to film in advance. It is not going to be a big crafty project but it's going to be uh, an important one because i am going to show what we did in march i'm going to do a show and tell maybe you find a project that you have not seen before there's also a playlist lovies and i'm going to explain what april is going to be all about so fun and very exciting i have the new digital kit out i've been working on it i absolutely love this one so if you're into digitals i think you're gonna like it also, I have a freebie with it, for sure. So, have a fantastic Easter weekend, lovies. I'm hoping you will tune in on Monday at my regular hour. So, I'm hoping to see you then. Yes, show you all the lovelies that we made in March. And tell you about April and introducing my new digital kit. Yay! Have fun this Easter. See you Monday. Bye, guys.